we are going to be talking about um, taxes that England puts on place on the 13 colonies, and that ends up leading to a war between England and its own colony. Uh, so yesterday we talked about um, the French and Indian War and how the French and the Native Americans teamed up and fought against England and the 13 colonies and how England and 13 colonies ended up winning. Now, wars are expensive. Uh, and so, you know, England, after spending a ton of money on this war, wants to make its money back. And it figured since it was, England says, well, since I was defending the 13 colonies, well, you know, in return, they need to help pay for that war, um, which doesn't sound so bad, but check this out. So right after the war, you know, so a lot of the colonists believed, you know, so they were all fighting for this land. This was the land that the French and the Native Americans controlled, right? And so a lot of the 13, the colonists, right? A lot of the, th the colonists in the 13 colonies believed that, hey, if we win, if we fight this war, then we get all this land that we can expand and move out into. So, you know, rather than just being stuck all right here, we can expand out this way. But England came in and just said, actually, hey, we're going to make this thing called the Proclamation of 1763, which just says that, hey, we're going to make this line right here, this red line, uh, that's on this thing called the Appalachian Mountains. Okay, so they make this line, and they, they end up saying, hey, you know what? You can't move over that. You're there. Like, you don't get to move over that. Um, even though you guys fought for this land, and a lot of you died for this land, you can't go past it. Right, so, you know, they thought it was really unfair. Now, not only that, but then they start to uh, kind of take away more of the colonists' options with trade, and they started taxing them more. And that's what we're going to go over today. So as the colonists get, get taxed, and as they start to get a bunch of limitations put on them, like the Proclamation of 1763, uh, the colonists start to respond in, in different ways. So they make the Proclamation of 1763, the colonists get upset. They make a tax, the colonists get upset. Today, we're just talking about the taxes, and tomorrow we're going to talk about the ways they've responded, okay? So the first tax that gets made is this thing called the Sugar Act. Now this, when you just look at it, it looks nice because it lowers the tax on sugar, right? Which you might think that, okay, wait, that's a good thing. Lower taxes mean that's less money you have to give to the government. But what it really is doing is it's taking away the choice of the colonists. Now, a lot of the colonists, you know, if you remember from the mercantilism, right, that they have to trade with the mother country, right? Now, a lot of colonists were just trading with some other, other places because they would have gotten more money for it. So they didn't have to pay taxes if they went with another place. So by lowering the tax on sugar, they make it more profitable to trade with England, all right, making more money for England. Um, now, this doesn't seem so bad because everybody's paying less money, but it, it takes away choice from the colonists, and the colonists didn't like that. They wanted a little bit of freedom. They wanted to kind of have the options, options to make decisions for themselves, and England was trying to take that away with the Sugar Act. Okay, So the Sugar Act happens. There is a response that they make, but, but we're going to talk about those responses tomorrow. Okay, Next, we have this thing called the Stamp Act. So the Stamp Act basically just puts a tax on any kind of paper products. Um, now, back then, there weren't cell phones. There weren't telephones, right? You can, you can communicate with people in that way, like, instantaneously. So if you wanted to talk to somebody, you needed to write them a letter, right? Stamps are the things that go on letters that, you, you know, you can send by the post office. Uh, so if you wanted to send a letter, one, it, paper costs more expensive, and then stamps cost more exp were more expensive. Kind of like, imagine like this. If, if any time you wanted to um, send a message to your friend, make a phone call, or post something on Instagram or whatever. You had to pay a dollar. That's kind of what this tax was to people. Is that anytime they wanted to try and talk with somebody, <laughs> anytime they wanted to send a letter about their business or, or anything like that, they had to pay extra in order to do that. Right? And so Colin thought that was extremely unfair. Um, but remember, from England's point of view, they're saying, well, we were protecting you guys in that war. So you guys are having to pay for that protection. Whereas the colonists are just seeing it as like, hey, we fought that together. And now you're just screwing us over and making us pay a bunch of these, these taxes. And, and the thing that frustrated the colonists most is that they didn't have a say in what was going on. Um, England was just putting all these rules on them. And the colonists didn't even get to say, get a say in like whether they were okay with them or not. Okay, next we have this thing called the Tea Act. Uh, 
Um, so tea back then, right? Tea you drink, like we have sweet tea, but this is kind of like hot tea is what we're talking about. Um, tea back then was kind of like what coffee is today or like energy drinks or stuff like that. Like everybody drinks them like that, that kind of stuff. Tea is like that for the 13 colonists. And England was like, oh, hey, well, if we put tax on tea, we'll make more money. So they put more tax on tea <laughs> so they can make more money. And this obviously was... Uh, very frustrating to the colonists. And you'll learn about this thing called the Boston Tea Party tomorrow, which was kind of the the way that uh, the colonists got back at England for doing that to them. Uh, next, we have this thing called the Townshend Acts. Okay, so the Townshend Acts was essentially, just, it was just another tax, but it was another tax on paper, another tax on tea, as well as a tax on glass products. So they're basically just, England is taxing anything that somebody uses every single day. So kind of think of like if the government wanted to make as much money as possible today here in the United States, like what would they probably tax, right? They would probably try and tax like cell phones or like some like clothing stores or uh, stuff like that. So this is kind of what England is trying to do is just to tax anything that they they can. <laughs> um, so then we have this thing called the Intolerable Acts. These were specifically designed to punish the colonists. So as the colonists are coming in and starting to like react to um, these taxes, the taxes that they think are unfair, right? Well, England's like, well, if you guys are going to try and be mean back to us, we can actually be mean. Rather than just taxes, we can do difficult things to you. They put these things called the Quartering Act, which said that, hey, you, a regular person just living there, have to let a soldier live in your house for free. And not just live there, but like pro you have to provide for them and like give them food and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, um, so not 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 so fun. As well as it just kind of shut down all government in Boston. So like the city of Boston was kind of like a hub where people who were uh, protesting these taxes and stuff like that were were located and just shut down the entire city and said, no, you guys aren't allowed to meet together. It's completely shut down. Okay, and and so like I said, tomorrow we're going to go into detail about uh, like the, how the colonists reacted. But you, they they would react probably in how you would expect. They were outraged. They organized protests. They went out into the streets marching about um, how things are unfair. They get this rallying cry called "No taxation without representation." So most of the all of these taxes and acts and stuff were passed without the permission from the colonists, right? England just said, you have to do that now, right? Uh, and the colonists were unfair. They, they felt like they thought that was unfair. They, they thought that they're citizens of England, but England's not treating them as citizens. Uh, so they have this phrase, no taxation without representation. They also do this thing called burning effigies, which is like they they make this like giant, like life-size doll that looks like one of the tax collectors and then they just like burn it. Uh, which is probably very, very intimidating. There's one other little thing, right? If you see this picture up here, they would like take tax collectors and cover them in like tar and put feathers on them and call them chickens, right? And Because they felt like they were being unfair because a lot of times the, um, the tax collectors were people from the 13 colonies who were getting taxes from their neighbors to give to England all the way over there who they believed was being unfair. So you can see how um, the stress would uh, and the frustration would, would make people you know, get at each other like that. Um, and tomorrow we're going to go in details about what that looked like 